PCAT Asia Pacific Cities Cities Alliance for Tobacco Control and for Prevention of Non Communicable Diseases. I have somehow managed to get hold of His Excellency uh, Francis Anthony Garcia, who is the mayor of Balanga City in Philippines and co chair of APCAT. And I have stolen some moments from his coffee session here uh, to have him with us today. Welcome, Francis. Can I call you Francis? Yes, please okay. do. Thank you. <laughs> You are one of the found, you are the founding co-chair of APCAT. What spurred you to join this alliance? What made you? What was the stimulus behind it? Being uh, part of uh, the advocacy of uh, tobacco control and smoke fee, we're always on the lookout for um, people we can align with, uh, alliances, and people who can help us uh, in terms of uh, gathering the data terms of analyzing in terms of implementation of all our programs mm -hmm. so APCAT as well as with the union uh, behind it uh, really presented um, a very strong partner in terms of um, tobacco control and healthy living and also um, non-communicable disease prevention mm -hmm. for how long have you been mayor of uh, Balanga city I've been mayor since uh, July of 29 2016 2016 okay uh, the year APCAT was yes, born yes, also yes. Balanga is the first um, uh, tobacco-free generation city. Correct. What does that mean, tobacco-free generation? Um, it means, first of all, uh, the tobacco-free generation movement uh, wasn't invented in Balanga. It was invented by, or at least uh, this mm -hmm. um, part of it was uh, by the Tobacco-Free Generation International by Dr. Kung and some other people. Mm -hmm. Um, the former mayor, uh, who's my brother, Mayor Joet, mm -hmm. um, joined one of the activities in Singapore, got to talk with Dr. Kung, mm -hmm. and um, they got together and decided to bring it to Balanga. Mm -hmm. uh, so being a tobacco-free generation uh, city is where uh, the youth um, have um, formed together and have uh, promised uh, each other uh, mm -hmm. not to become the replacement smokers, not to become to become the next generation of healthy living instead of the next generation uh, of smokers. Mm -hmm. Are there any other cities also which qualify or yours is the only one as of now? Um, for us, um, we qualify as one because we have the tobacco free generation uh, ordinance, mm -hmm. but I think every city can become part of the tobacco free generation, become mm -hmm. a tobacco free generation city if they have all the activities, if they uh, interact with their youth uh, mm -hmm. in order to help them uh, become a tobacco free uh, generation. Okay. Uh, there is, uh, your city also has some Guinness World Record yes. for something else. Could yes. you share yes. that please? Yes. Yeah. Um, as part of the tobacco free generation movement, uh, in uh, May 2016, mm -hmm. um, we conducted in Balanga the largest uh, dance fitness class. Mm -hmm. um, but really it symbolized, uh, it was a very difficult uh, event to manage and to choreograph. Mm -hmm. But really uh, underlying it all um, was the goal uh, to uh, present to everyone and for every member who participated. It wasn't only to become a Guinness Book World uh, mm -hmm. Records holder, mm -hmm. but to be part of the movement, to become a, the part of the Tobacco Free Generation movement. And it symbolizes like no matter how difficult it was, if we all come together, join uh, each other, join hands with each other, uh, anything is possible. possible. So that's the great thing about that. Right. Uh, can you share some of the initiatives uh, you have taken as the mayor of Palanga City during the last, say, three, three years or three, four years, yes. three years? Uh, for tobacco control and NCT prevention, which can be replicated elsewhere. We need to send out that message. If it can be done in Balanga, it can be done elsewhere also. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, a, for one thing, we have a very comprehensive uh, uh, no smoking uh, ordinance mm -hmm. in Balanga City, which was recently uh, updated even further. Mm -hmm. um, some may wonder whether sm even uh, smoke-free is possible, but I think Balanga and other some other cities in the world have shown uh, even a city like Singapore is going uh, towards smoke-free, that it really is uh, the way to go. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want uh, your children to see people uh, smoking in the streets. It has to be uh, a policy that 
something that can kill you shouldn't be allowed to um, to happen or to um, smoking shouldn't be allowed to happen. So I think that's one thing that uh, Balang has shown uh, around the world. Of course, tobacco-free generation uh, is another one. We are also one of the first uh, cities in the Philippines to implement a health promotion board. Okay. So we have a health promotion board that um, uh, concentrates on uh, health promotion issues. Um, so this this board uh, tackles health promotion issues, uh, has its own budget from the city, um, so that activities uh, about health promotion, NCD prevention can be uh, more readily um, applied and implemented uh, in the city. So what are some of the activities done by the health promotion? Uh, for example, uh, we have this 2.4-kilometer uh, a uh, four-lane highway, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually where the large Just Dance Fitness class uh, event was held. Mm -hmm. uh, this is now closed um, in the early mornings uh, during weekends. This is now half of it is closed, okay. so that people can uh, walk, uh, okay. run, bike mm -hmm. uh, um, on this highway. Okay. So this is uh, one of our, our worthwhile events. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have. Uh, the Bike for Tobacco Free Generation uh, event held every year. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, various um, uh, fun runs that mm -hmm. are held, and, and these are for uh, Tobacco Free Generation. Uh, we, we have uh, a peer facilitator uh, movement where we get uh, youth leaders, uh, mm -hmm. and then we orient them, um, have uh, classes with them, and then they become the uh, leaders of their um, different um, schools mm -hmm. and they become the uh, people someone uh, people that other of their uh, youth can uh, talk to them mm -hmm. uh, get advice and also be leaders in terms of healthy living mm -hmm. so these are some of our, our practices. you said just now tobacco kills and rightly so tobacco mm -hmm. kills and uh, still the tobacco industry they are coming up with new products uh, now e-cigarettes and jewel and vaping yeah. they are becoming uh, fashionable yes. so you try to control one thing and something else comes up yeah. so what is your take on this shouldn't there be a blanket ban on all <laughs> smoking products yes uh, Balanga City believes uh, so as well so even as early as 2016 we had had a ban mm -hmm. uh, on, va on vaping, vaping and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, <coughs> products okay. and it turns out to be very uh, the correct decision especially with the, all the news today about mm -hmm. uh, vaping harming hundreds mm -hmm. uh, maybe even thousands of people across mm -hmm. the world especially in the United States so mm -hmm. it's really um, a lot of studies need to be done uh, mm -hmm. but looks like uh, it's, it's also a very harmful uh, product what about the other cities in the Philippines? Are there other cities who are following your example? Or uh, uh, yes, actually the uh, city of the current president, President Duterte, was one of the first uh, okay. smoke-free cities. And uh, Balanga mm -hmm. learned a lot from the city of Davao. Okay. Um, and then we have the city of Iloilo. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Baguio, which is the summer capital of the Philippines also mm -hmm. implementing uh, smoke free right now. So we all learn uh, from each other uh, mm -hmm. through the help of various uh, uh, non-government organizations uh, to bring about uh, this uh, really this uh, change uh, from the past where uh, when we were young, when people uh, mm -hmm. all smoked uh, mm -hmm. in the streets to mm -hmm. now where uh, we are um, uh, we're not used to seeing uh, people, people uh, smoke on this. Like we're actually, uh, I'm not sure what the right word is, we're um, I miss, uh, it means like, it's uh, not socially acceptable. Yes, or what yes. Like when mm -hmm. uh, when you see, so oh, why, why are why they smoking? smoking? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, no. Why is it allowed? So mm -hmm. it has come to that point, point. in Balanga mm -hmm. City. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, what is that you've been? You've been part of uh, APCAT for so long. Why do you think such uh, platforms and alliances working at the local level, why are they necessary and how do they feed into that global agenda of ending tobacco and reducing NCDs? I think uh, conferences like and uh, um, alliances like APCAT really bring together um, the best practices from each city. We all learn from each other. Uh, we all learn uh, what is possible 
uh, and also at the same time, we want to come uh, back each year showing what else uh, we, have we have done. done. So I think that's why uh, we have seen uh, each city uh, really progress uh, mm -hmm. even further uh, in terms of uh, smoke-free and tobacco control. Okay, the last question, your message for this um, fourth summit of APCAT and the way forward. Um, so again, thank you very much to everyone for participating in the fourth uh, APCAT uh, summit. Uh, really, we appreciate everyone, and especially all the organizers, uh, and of course, all the uh, participants. Um, we have come a long way, but of course, there's still so much more that we can do. And as long as we do it together, uh, again, we join hands, help each other. I think uh, anything is possible, and we can really bring about a really very healthy uh, environment uh, for everyone, especially our youth. Thank you. Friends, you were listening to Francis Anthony Garcia, the very, a very modest and humble human being he has come across to me. is the mayor of Balanga City in Philippines. And uh, thank you for being with yeah. us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.